five most unique knives from popular brands, part one. Let's light it up. So we're going to do five knives from five different brands that are kind of outside of the norm of what that company usually does. Maybe something that you haven't seen or something that you haven't thought of in the past. First up is going to be the one that you saw at the beginning of the video, and that is the Carahawk from Spyderco. This thing is very interesting, super cool, and very different from anything else that Spyderco does. Let's take a closer look at that one. So it's gonna be kind of a karambit, kind of a hawk bill. This is the Black Blade 2.29 inch VG10 hawk bill blade, and very much a karambit style knife with the finger hole in the backside right there. Um, and also really cool addition is the uh, kind of wave or grip opening feature right there. So when you have, have this in the pocket, and it's in your pocket like this, when you pull it out, you can pull it out in such a way that it automatically opens it for you as you pull it out. And that's a really cool feature, especially for something that you want to be, you, you want to be ready on the go very quickly. And this one has their satin black finish on it. Also with the G10 handles, it's super thin, so it's really easy to carry. And like I said, the wave opener, and this one's coming in at 261.10. Again, not something that you're used to seeing from a company like Spyderco. It's not in their wheelhouse, so to speak, but a really cool knife nonetheless, and a really cool offering from Spyderco that you might not have paid attention to before. Next up is gonna be from Kershaw, and with this one, I'm gonna go ahead and say a caveat is it needs to be in production now because that's most of what we have to draw on, obviously. Um, and out of, out of their current production line, I think the most unique that's kind of out of the norm for them is going to be the Kershaw Interstellar. I really dig this knife. Let's take a look at it. So this is a manual out the front knife, locking button right there, and then you just push it up and it comes right out the front. Tonto blade, serrations on the blade right there, 8CR13 MOV on the blade steel. This one's coming in at just $39.95. And extra functionality, it's got a one-way pocket clip, tip up, and it's got the bottle opener in the back end. Really, really dig that functionality. Um, the blade itself is 2.7 inches long, partially serrated, and Tonto really dig the uh, hollow grind right there. And really just like this knife from Kershaw. Nice thinking outside the box. And that's kind of what we are applauding here is outside the box thinking from companies that maybe you didn't expect to see. Because when you come when it comes to Kershaw, what do you think of? You think of the leak, you think of the blur, you think of, you know, knives like that. Even the Lucha, that has become a staple in Kershaw's lineup. But a manual out the front knife is not something that you've come to expect from a company like Kershaw. Next up, CRKT. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and say that of all of the knife brands, CRKT is the most outside the box thinking when it comes to their designs. And that's really cool. And they've come up with some really exotic designs in the past. And most, uh, a lot of the ones that originally come to my mind uh, are not in production anymore. Ones like the Dactyl. Um, one that is, is the Snap Lock. Those are very unique uh, opening mechanisms. And we've done a video on that uh, in the past. That was actually a really long time ago, almost three years ago. But <clears throat> as far as in production now and very outside the box for what CRKT normally does. And when I think CRKT, me personally, I don't know about you, but when I think CRKT, the first thing that comes to my mind is the M16, the Minimalist, and the Provoke. Those are the ones that I see in my head when I first think about CRKT. The Ritual, however, is very, very different. And let me show you why. So first off, you've got this very exaggerated Persian blade right here, very upswept. You've got the nice uh, 
ivory G10 on the handles, the blue anodized on the front right there. It is a liner lock. Also with the blade flipper and the ambi thumb studs, and it's assisted, which I mean, for a knife this size, it kind of needs to be for it to be really fun and functional. Um, and just a really cool blade right there. And something that is outside of the norm. Now, granted, we've gotten used to seeing outside of the norm from CRKT, but this one is just a little bit extra. Next up is gonna be from Case. Now, like I said before, from Case, you expect to see a stockman, a trapper, maybe some exotic handle materials like buffalo horn, but for the most part, you're gonna see yellow synthetic, you're gonna see kieranite, you're gonna see bone handles and micarta, and that's gonna be it. You don't really expect to see, and of course, all of you know, that Case came out with a couple of years ago, their modern folder line. This one is one of them, but this one takes the uniqueness a little bit more extreme right there. So this is the Kinzua, or the Kinzu, um, depending on how you pronounce it. But this one's coming with the S35VN PVD coated blade right there, which is really cool. That's very unique and very different for Case. So we got a modern, um, we've got a modern powdered steel on the blade steel right there. And then of course, we've got the anodized aluminum handles with the etching on here with the skulls just in time for Halloween also. And, uh, I think that's super cool. That's a really neat little modern folder right there. Really cool knife. Um, and as far as price that one's coming in at 130.99 as of the filming of this now the regular price is going to be 163.99 right now as of the filming it's on sale but that's a 3.4 inch drop point blade and i really dig the drop point blade on this kenzu it makes it a, a really nice uh, usable and useful edc blade right there really good action on that one really good frame lock and i absolutely dig that and next up is going to be from benchmade now when you think of Benchmade, um, immediately your mind goes to a couple of different things. Either the Bug Out, which they have become really well known for, the Adamas, but also their more military style as well, the SOCP. So those are kind of what you come to expect from Benchmade. You've got the Osborne kind of falls in line with that. You've got the Presidio, you've got the Freak, the Mini Freak. Those are all kind of along the same lines, got the Axis Lock, and ones that you've come to expect from Benchmade. However, you don't really expect a modern slip joint from Benchmade. So, the most unique for Benchmade is actually a slip joint. And I think this is a cool roll reversal because you expect a slip joint from case. You get a modern folder. You expect a modern folder or maybe a more tactical um, LEO option for fixed blades from Benchmade, not necessarily a modern slip joint. Let's take a look at the Weekender here. And I feel like this is a very underrated knife. I really love this thing. It comes with a lot of functionality built into it. So, one, you've got the really nice canvas micarta handles. You've got the anodized uh, pivot collars right there, which really set this thing off. S30V on the blade steel. You've got the nice clip point blade, and you've got the uh, smaller clip point right here, or uh, I guess that would be more of like a modern pin blade. But really nice half stops right there. Good action and you've got your little fold out bottle opener right there. So that's really what makes this the Weekender. And full cutouts for the nail nicks right there for opening. This thing's coming in at 247.50. Oh my goodness, I can't talk today. But 247.50 and you've got a really good EDC slip joint right here. Modern materials and modern workmanship, but in a more traditional type pattern. Um, I mean, that's gonna make for a great 
great EDC knife right there. So let us know what you thought about these five unique knives, most unusual from these five manufacturers. Like I said, we're gonna keep this series going. Let us know what, maybe not unique knives, don't give it away, but let us know what brands you want us to cover next. And we will pick out some of the most unique knives from those brands. As always, folks, it's been me, TC, here with Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com. And remember, if it cuts, no matter what these companies make, then we carry. <laughs>